I love failure. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising them. You know, you grow the love of you and your, and your wife by caring for them and having their back. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Why is that? Because it's a report card back on your shortcomings. You take a guy, you take a guy that can earn a dollar, forever wealthy, because no matter what comes, he can grow it back. What is that about? The willpower, the belief, the confidence. And just like you go to the gym and you lift your muscles, right? You have to exhaust them to grow them. Perishable, use it or lose it. Your confidence must be the same way. It must be tested every single day. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones because your true potential will never be matched, guys. Will never be matched. You have to continue to push yourself. And when you push yourself, like I saw when I was out about here at Gold Coast with you guys, I saw excellence in the community effort. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. So, status quo is normality. It's, it's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. The belief of the individual can overcome thousands of followers. One person with a belief overrides thousands of people with just intent jaw japping, just trying to, you know, fake it till they make it, LA base, not the Gold Coast. Your life, guys, is not about making money. It's not about having the titles. It's not about having the hot trophy wife. Your life is about a moment to come. It's inevitable. We cannot stop it from coming. Right now, we have the most valuable asset on earth on our side, time, but it's running out. And right now, you guys are sitting there. And to make that first step towards greatness is the hardest step. But there is one thing harder than that, my friends. It's later in life. As you look back on your life, the windows of opportunity has closed. Your ability is no longer present. And you think back that you could have been great. Right now, you had the ability to never have that debate inside your head. Because that's the debate you can never win. You can go back and forth, back and forth, but there's no verdict. The jury's always going to be in a jury room. It's never going to come back saying, you did okay. What you will do is you will bury that deep inside. You won't tell anyone that you could have been this. You will be second best to your true potential, and you'll live your life fine. But then one of your friends is going to succeed in some endeavor, and you're going to hate him for it because his success is a spotlight shining down on your missed opportunity. We all had the ability to do anything. There's people in here far superior than me, but there's no one in here that's gonna work harder than me. Or maybe there is. And if so, I'd love to meet you because you're gonna make me stronger, I'll make you stronger. That works together. Without a belief, a driving force, then you are in that car, no, no idea where the supermarket is. The paths that you travel are not paths that are beaten. That's already been done. Society status quo, if not tested, the world's still flat, isn't it? If not tested, then the Industrial Revolution never existed. If failure wasn't one man's strength over a thousand times it failed, then these lights never would have lit for Thomas Edison. There is so much power in failure because you learn so much from it. And the difference between a champion and someone who's forgotten is that a champion shows up. That's the only thing. Every day shows up. Puts a, gives himself a chance to make a difference. Not sitting back, not making that step, going for it. Thrown at you, get covers thrown at you. No, I had to crawl my way to get to the first cover. I had to lie. I had to break all the rules. And how did I do it? Because I wanted it bad enough. So breaking the rules worked for me. Because these rules are someone else's rules, not the book I wrote. I'm not living that book. I remember magazine. I wanted to get that cover. And uh, what I found out, I did some studying. 
you know? It's not about just a body, you gotta have a business side. So this body you build in the gym is just the product. So now let's sell the product. Now the fun begins. The business entrepreneurship, how to market this product to somebody to buy it, right? Whether you're selling a supplement or a car or, or a tax or yourself, it's an IPO you're trying to build the value of in a very competitive market. You think someone's gonna come to you and give you a, a highlighted version, script on how to live your life? And if that was the case, would you even go that way? How boring is that? It's the unknown about to be that gets me up in the morning. It's always a challenge. And as soon as a challenge is lost, guys, your will is dead. There's no reason to get up in the morning. When I get up in the morning, guys, you know, I've done some things in my life. I should be proud of it. Yes, I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, and I, I've learned so many lessons to be the person I am now, but I'm not defined by it. I'm just, I'm just equipped by it to, to have the knowledge so what comes up next, that fork in the road, I can apply what I've learned to make the best decision forward. That's all it's about, but I look in the mirror, man, and anxiety fills me. I look in there, I'm like, you know, it's like, you know, and I'm not hung over or anything, man. I'm just like, you know, I'm just straight up like, you know, I'm, every morning I beat myself up because I don't know that there's enough time. You know, I believe in myself so much that there's more I can do. I'm at the tip of the iceberg. There's more I can be. But like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, is there enough time? 36 years old, man. Starting to feel the aches a little bit, a little bit, you know? Take it away. So in that arena, we get to build things. And I'm not talking about the body. I'm talking about the arsenal to go to war with. That arsenal are things like integrity, honor, character, discipline, sacrifice, due diligence, sweat equity, to see it through. The difference is not the, the, the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tell someone for to stand back up, stand back up, the perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. In the gym, we build that. We get up at 5.30 in the morning, it's pissing rain outside. Our competition's sleeping, I love that. I'm getting it. People ask me, what are your greatest moments? Every single one of them's failure. That's where I got to learn who I was. That's where I got the report card to know which part was fixed, which part was broken, so I can take my effort and reapply it. Fitness, I, made, I got a website that makes over $2 million a year. There's no one in the fitness industry that makes money. No one does. I didn't have, it, it forced me to do this. The reality of life, whatever that truth is, right? It's not as powerful as the perception on how you see it. No matter what happens, it's the perception on how you see it. You're having a shitty day. Wish you never woke up, right? Everything, it's Murphy's Law slapping you in the face 15 times. And all of a sudden, like this phone rings, right? You pick up the phone, and it's really good news. You got a promotion, maybe? You know, maybe it's like your mom's in remission of cancer. Something great news, you know? You hang up the phone, and you're just like, you, you just want to run the streets. You want to go to the gym. You want to call up your friend and say, hey, buddy, I'm sorry. You want to make amends. You just want to live life and make it all right. What happened there? There's no power that comes through the phone that made you more capable. You're the same capable person before as you were after. Your perception has changed. And with that perception change, you get to understand time and time again that the way you see it is what's faulty, not the situation at hand. So many people out there um, fail, not because they don't have the ability, it's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity. The other thing that's worst case scenario is fear. For many of you guys, it robs you of your true potential. Why is that? Because it's a parasite. It feeds off you, the host. Its fuel is confidence. When fear comes into your body, it's as weak as state. You could kill it right there in a second, but you don't. You turn your back to it. You let it grow. You let it feed off you. Just show up and be your best. And that opportunity doesn't come that often. Everyone's like, oh, Greg, you're lucky you got the cover. You got this, Greg, you're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullshit. Because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, 
I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. No, I remastered it and remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Start to finish a blueprint that every single module inside of it you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. There's no steroids in there because that might not work one day when you have to deliver. Can't have that thing in there, get out of there. Luck cannot be in there because this is a universal term last I looked. Shit called good luck. There's dumb luck. I mean, who, there's bad luck. You can't have, he's out. Your girlfriend can't be in there. My family can't be in there because this right here is gonna get me from the EKG of the